In this video, I show you how to create and upload audio in Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. So the first thing you need to do is come to Roblox just like I am just here. And now what you need to do is come to the top of Roblox and go and tap on create just like so in this top navigation bar. Now, if you haven't gone and tapped on create before, you're going to go and see this big banner and there's going to be a button saying start creating. But what you want to do is go below that button and go and tap on manage my experiences and you'll be taken to this page here. Um, so, and make sure on the develop page, which says roblox.com slash develop. Then what you want to do is make sure my creations is selected and you want to come below my creations and you need to go and look for audio. So go and tap on audio. Currently it's sort of halfway down the list. Of course, the location may change in the future, but I wouldn't have thought so. And as you can see, we have got a few messages here. This top one, we can actually still do it here. It's fine. And then as you can see, audio uploads are now free before you actually used to have to pay. And I believe different accounts have different amounts of uploads. So personally, I get a hundred per 30 days, but you may have more or less. And now let's actually get into creating an audio and uploading once. So if you don't already have one, then what you want to do is press click here and you get a bit of information in audio files, but I'll briefly explain it now. So what you need to do is have an audio file. So as you can see, it says audio uploads must be less than seven minutes and smaller than 19.5 megabytes, which is pretty easy to achieve. So if you haven't already got a file, then you need to go out and record something or go and record a sound or download a sound, I guess. Um, so yeah, you can go and use a tool like Audacity if you want to go and record one. And then once you do have an audio file, what you need to do is make sure that it's a .mp3 or .ogg file. If it isn't, it's not going to work. So if you've got a .wav file, for example, then what you need to do is go and convert it. It's a super easy process. I've got a few guides on them, but you can go and Google WAV file to MP3 file, something like that. And there's always websites which you can go and do it with. Now I'm going to go and choose the file which I want to go and upload. So I'm going to tap on choose file. So I just went and found the file in my file explorer. And as you can see, it's a .mp3. I actually had to go and convert mine because before it was a .wav file. Now you want to go and name the audio. You can go and change the name later, but I'm just going to go and name this pop sound effect is that's what it is. And then you want to go and press upload just like so. And it's now uploading it. Then as you can see, you're going to have a list of all your different audio files. They're going to appear here. Now I want to go and show you how you can go and use it. But firstly, I want to show you a few settings for it to so come over to the right hand side and go and press on the settings cog and go and tap on configure just like so. And it'll take a moment to load. So here you can go and change the name of it. You can go and change the description. So you can go and describe what it is. Now, as you can see at the moment, uh, you can't go and make it public. It just says audio files cannot be made public at this time, which also means you can't go and distribute it uh, on the marketplace as well. So that's the main things there. If you make any changes, make sure you hit the save button um, for them to be saved. Now I'm going to go and press back just to go back to our library. So if you go and tap on the audio, just like so, it will take a moment to load. And then what you want to do is come to the top um, of Roblox to your URL bar. And you've got the ID just here. So it's after library slash and before slash pop sound effect or the name of your audio. And it's just this uh, sort of random numbers here. So go and double tap on it. It should select them or you can just go and manually highlight it just like that. Then you can go and press copy and then you can go and use that asset ID in Roblox Studio or whatever you want to go and use it. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.